hello guys so i'll be servicing my um this is my go-to jigging wheel here in the northeast uh this is a trank uh, size 400 um low profile reel um that has been upgraded um with the power handle using um the Osha Jigger 1500 power handle. I got this from uh, Shimano.com and as I've said this is my go-to reel. It has just enough um, line capacity. It's light. I can jig with this all day long and then of course it's, uh, it's easy to grab because it's a low profile reel. It has level wind so I don't have to worry about uh, spreading the line. Okay so let's go. So first, let's remove the left side plate and so you can remove the spool, I'll clean that later. And next let's remove the power handle. careful uh, this drag system uh, the star drag is uh, spring-loaded so as you can see see it pops up because it's spring-loaded so just be careful with that and while I'm doing this I also have my uh, my parts uh, or real schematic so as a guide for to put the parts together okay so what I do to organize the drag system is place them one by one either with a screw or a pick okay so it's easy to arrange put it back later dirty because uh, look at the discoloration over there so it means some salt water did get into the reel but not much Put side plate here okay as I've said my system here is I arranged the drag system here in a pit uh, using I insert them I, okay in a pick so it will be easy to put them back together. servicing obviously um, I'm not gonna remove the um, the clutch release it's up to you if you want to but I think I can clean it without removing it shop bearing is clean I'm also going to remove the warm gear so it has a C 
C-clip right there so this tool is very handy to remove the C-clip so just be careful removing the C-clip because it may yeah there you go so I'm guarding it with my hand so it doesn't fly away I would need to remove this part here here so so when I put it back I'm gonna look at the wheel schematic make sure I'm not missing a part drop a screw Gotta be careful with that it's a good thing that my kitchen has a white floor so it was, it's easy for me to see it there you go now I figured out that was the hold up that small part here I need to be able to there you go all right there you go Get that up to here It's really dirty. Time to put it back. So I'm looking at the uh, the schematics right now. Make sure I'm putting it back right. No, you don't want to put too much grease because that's going to be uh, dirt will stick to the grease so just put uh, you know, just about the right amount now I'm going to coat this 
the main body with grease. Okay. There's a bearing there, so I'm going to put oil on the bearing. So, oil on the bearing, grease on the gears. Okay. Now putting back the C clip, um, I just use the long, a long nose plier. Just be careful that it doesn't slip. So the C clip will fly away, nice and easy. There you go. It's back there. I've said I'm referring to uh, the real schematics as I put this back. As I've said, so I um, as I put it back, that's when I clean part by part. I always dip screw every screw um, dip it up or put a little grease on it when I put it back just to make sure it doesn't freeze doesn't stick it'll be easy to remove uh, next time service it plus it of course it seals um, seals the screw uh, from the sea water from getting into the thread and causing corrosion and uh, your 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 uh, what's gonna happen is the the screws will freeze and it's not gonna you're not gonna be able to remove it so this part here is uh, the lock for the side plate The only downside with the uh, level wind drills is of course it has more parts and it's more complicated to clean unlike with the uh, typical conventional especially the lever, lever drag oh, lever drags are the easiest to clean my experience it has smaller parts the mechanism especially the drag mechanism or the drag system is very simple Star drags have more parts, especially the level winds. So I'm not gonna over tighten that, okay? Parts are so small, you don't wanna over tighten it. There you go, that's working. Uh, coat the edge with grease so it acts like a seal let's clean the rest of uh, the level wine components so they call this the line guide pole so when the lever drag or I'm sorry the level wine 
breaks or malfunctions usually it's the warm gear and this part here the line guide pole okay so far uh, the Shimano I mean Tranks is very reliable Sorry, the main chef. So this is the anti-reverse gear. So this needs to there you go. I'm going to uh, grease the edge, but just the edge. Paper towel has grease on it. So there you go. And this is the main gear. Look at that nasty. Whew. a clean uh, paper towel for the drug washers so you don't I don't want to uh, get any grease on it or, or as little grease as possible see this is the reason why I arrange it this way so I don't even have to look at the um, real schematics to put this back
let's of course i'm still looking at the um, still looking at the schematic just to make sure the last one now I'm gonna coat it with grease it's just protection so there's no grease on the drag washers but I'm gonna coat the outside just a coat protection so what took the most time for me to clean is the level wind so I just find it more convenient to use a level wind but when it comes to servicing it's a pain because it's usually the one that breaks first in a reel clean the right uh, side plate oh look at that that's nasty of course you can always uh, you know just opt to have the professionals do it for you but for me, I you know, it's it's a good good pastime for me to clean my own reels. Again, um, we don't fish all year round, so during off season, this is a good pastime. All right, there you go. All right, let's oil the bearings. Coat it with grease. Again for protection and like a water seal, especially the edge. So I, I uh, coat the edge with grease. Uh, the only uh, part so far that I saw signs of corrosion is the main gear. Sure, you know, there's coat on the edge. Just coat the edge. The edge. I would, yeah, teeth uh, slides into those two notches there. as I can because I didn't disassemble it. It's gonna grease it a little bit inside. Okay, so that's good. This is good. Alright, let's clean this pool. Next, the left side plate. Eh, see it's not that dirty. You can disassemble it if you want to, but eh, I wouldn't bother. Just gonna put oil in the bearing. So I'm just gonna coat it with thin, thin coat of grease. 
again for protection and uh, you know water resistance there you go coming along look at that very smooth All right. so this is the cast control let me clean it not dirty really but yeah. so I don't put grease on the cast control put oil But I'm going to grease the thread though. So I'm gonna grease this part here. I'm greasing it for again for water resistance. So the grease will act like a seal. So it doesn't uh, salt water won't get in. Uh, inside the spool break. Actually, that's the in the spool shaft also. Yeah, so smoother now. Okay. So I didn't disassemble. Uh, the power handle because this is uh, literally new I just use it one time but of course I'm gonna oil it wiping off the excess grease want an excess grease drag just gonna oil the uh, T handle here nice cool. all right it's good to go anyway Alright, if you like the video, please do subscribe and thank you for watching.